Hello folks, welcome to a new episode. This one is sponsored by Spoken. They specialise in helping busy people improve their English in a really convenient way. With Spoken, you can get tailored and flexible English lessons from your teacher delivered directly to your phone with messaging services like WhatsApp or WeChat, Viber, Facebook Messenger, loads of services available. Uh, The guys at Spoken are offering you two free lessons so you can check it out and then 20% off all of their courses. To check it out, go to getspoken.com slash LEP or click a Spoken logo on my website. Okay, now before we actually start the podcast properly, um, I just have uh, a sort of an announcement to make. Well, it's really, it's an apology. Um, And uh, before I even do that, I'm going to just teach you three expressions that sort of sum up Uh, what's going on here. So the first expression is, I have egg on my face. So I've got egg on, to have egg on your face. So I've got egg on my face. The second expression is to put your foot in it or to put your foot right in it. So I, I put my foot right in it. And the third expression is that I've dug myself into a hole, to dig yourself into a hole. So to have egg on your face means that um, you're kind of publicly embarrassed or or something has happened to publicly make you look kind of stupid. Okay, so that's one thing. And this is true, by the way, this is something that's true. Um, so I have got egg on my face. The second one was to put your foot in it or to put your foot right in it. And if you put your foot in it, it means that you say something or do something wrong and uh, you do the wrong thing or you say exactly the wrong thing and you might upset people or, again, make a fool of yourself or something like that. So I I put my foot in it. And the third one is that I've dug myself into a hole. To dig yourself into a hole is when you, first of all, do something wrong And you then try to kind of repair it, try to fix it. But all you do is get yourself deeper and deeper into that problem. So I've dug myself into a hole. And this is all true. I've got egg on my face. I put my foot in it uh, in the last episode of the podcast and I've dug myself into a hole. So let me explain. So I've inadvertently wandered into the middle of a, a fairly sensitive political situation and I'm sorry that it happened and I didn't mean to frustrate, disappoint or upset anyone. And the main reason it happened was because of my ignorance and my heavy handedness. Heavy handedness means basically clumsiness. So this happened really because of my, uh, the fact that I'm not well informed enough about the subject and because I dealt with it in a fairly clumsy way. So, let me explain. Two episodes ago, I had lots of fun talking about a funny restaurant themed around toilets, where people sit in toilets and they eat from tables propped up on toilets. So it's all like a toilet restaurant. Fun, fun, fun. Ha, 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 ha. Fine. And the restaurant is in Taiwan, which I imagined was a clean country. So I said that Taiwan was a country. Now, what I was worried about, actually, when I was talking about this toilet restaurant, I was at the time slightly concerned that I'd get comments from people saying things like this like in Taiwan you know we don't eat from toilets in Taiwan that's unhygienic or something like that that's what I expected well I did get an email about it as you heard in the following episode I was talking to Paul Amber and Sarah about it so I did get an email about it and the email came from China and it was fairly passionately written And basically that email told me, so it's nothing to do with cleanliness of toilet restaurants or anything. It was political and it was a bit more serious. So basically the email told me that actually Taiwan isn't a country because it's actually part of China. And here are examples of lots of other countries that don't recognize that it's a country. And if you say that it is a country, then all the other countries in the world will get the wrong idea and will think that it is a country when in fact it's not actually a country. Okay, so I thought, oh, Oh, I didn't realise. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's not a country. Oh, sorry, I had no idea. I thought it was a country, but then apparently it's not. So I thought, oh, how silly. I'd better say something about that. I'd better say something on the podcast and kind of apologise and just clarify after I got that email. And this is where I look stupid, of course, because I wasn't aware that I was walking right into this big and passionate disagreement involving two places in the world. I should have known that this would get me into some trouble, Um, okay? I should have known that I should have, you know, tread quite carefully on this subject. I had no idea, but I should have known. So now I'm feeling pretty sheepish 
um, if you feel sheepish, that means you're feeling a little bit sort of... Uh, sort of embarrassed and a bit tentative like you've done something a bit wrong and you're like oh sorry and you you're kind of treading carefully i'm feeling a bit sheepish because i think i've probably upset everyone in taiwan now as well as in china and people in a bunch of other places who are now thinking oh we shouldn't have said that oh what a stupid idiot yeah like i said egg on my face big hole in the ground which i'm now attempting to dig myself out of hopefully i'm not digging myself further in but anyway i mentioned it in the last episode and i said something like this i said apparently taiwan isn't a country sorry for getting that wrong ha 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 i'm a bit of an idiot self-deprecating humor oh it's so british fine i thought fine i've dealt with it but no not fine it was because since then i've had loads of emails and messages from taiwan basically saying, Luke, Taiwan is a country, all right. Now the rest of the world's going to be misinformed by what you said. This is going to kill our fight for independence. Now, while on one hand, I felt actually quite flattered that people consider my podcast to be so influential, uh, on one hand, but on the other hand, I was horrified to imagine all these people who were at their computers or on their smartphones getting furious with me for spreading these uh, half-truths when all I really wanted to do was talk about a restaurant in a toilet. Restaurant in a toilet, for goodness sake. Brilliant. No. Now this. All this serious stuff. So I can totally understand, okay, why people got upset. Because if I lived in a country which I proudly believed to be a country, and then people from another country said to me, no, it's not a country because it's part of this country. And look, all these other countries agree that it's just one big country. And then one guy from some other country does a podcast and he says something without thinking about it properly. And then loads of people in other countries in the world think, oh, so that's not a country because it's actually another country. I would feel pretty angry and upset on behalf of my country too. So, I know how you feel. I do. Now, um, one person in correspondence said to me that she was going to stop listening to the podcast. Now, when someone says to me that they are going to stop listening to the podcast, I take it seriously. When I read that message, which said, Luke, I'm a long-term listener, and I'm just writing to you to tell you that I'm going to stop listening to your podcast. When I read that, I thought, shit just got real. I need to record a new message. So let me just say that I have absolutely nothing invested in either side of this argument, okay? I've got nothing invested in either side. I'm not coming down in support of either side, all right? As far as I'm concerned, you're all my listeners, okay? I love you all, regardless of where you come from. In my eyes, you're all Lepsters from Lepland, okay? I like to think that you're all united by the fact that you listen to this podcast. I've always said that, and that's something I believe in. You know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, come down in support of one side or another. You all have the fact that you listen to this podcast in common. And in my, in my eyes, we're all just one big happy family. I've got no intention of showing particular support for one group or another, okay? I know that you both think I'm wrong on this, okay? And I apologise to both of you. Uh, mainly, though, I apologise for my lack of awareness and my clumsiness, my heavy-handedness. I'm really sorry, OK? I'm sorry to have upset anyone. Uh, I'm sorry to have given the world the wrong impression about either side of the argument. And I'm sorry to have unintentionally walked into the middle of this situation. I'm also sorry to the people who are now thinking, Luke, that's enough, OK? You don't need to apologise anymore. I'm sorry to you too. If you think I'm apologising too much, then I'm sorry. So... That's that's it then, all right? I'd, uh, I'd like to now go back to just talking about toilets now, please, and alien films and English grammar and Paul Taylor's comedy and Amber's podcast. I'd like to go home now, if that's okay with everyone else. So just in a bid to keep everyone informed, uh, people of the world, let me tell you this, all right? Just to make sure that, just for the, for the sake of balance, let me tell you this. Some people believe Taiwan isn't a country of its own. Other people believe that it definitely is. And in fact, they're fighting hard for independence and attempting to inform the world about this. Both sides are supported by various other countries and some aspects of history. Both sides think that they're right. And both sides are now quite pissed off with me.
And I just want to say, uh, I don't have a horse in this race. Okay? So whoever or whomever you are, and wherever you come from, please remember that I love you all. You're all my Lepsters. And as far as I'm concerned, you are first and foremost citizens of Lepland. Uh, you're you're united by the fact you listen to this and you're also united by the fact that you're all pissed off with me now and i just want everyone to be happy okay so i hope you don't stop listening because of this um if you if you did stop listening i would rather it was because of another reason to be honest i'd rather you stopped listening because you think my episodes are too long or or that you'd just rather listen to bbc six minute english where this kind of thing never ever happens right um I'd rather that than because you perceive I have political opinions that I don't actually have. Okay? So, you're all my listeners. I love you all. And I'm sorry for my stupidity. And now, I'm drawing a line. I'm drawing a big line under this. That's it now. It's all been dealt with. Drawing a line. So, let's get back to talking about restaurants in toilets. Okay? Really? Because they they actually put a restaurant in a toilet. What a crazy idea. Because toilets are dirty places, right? Where you do dirty things. You certainly shouldn't eat dinner in a toilet. You can't put a restaurant in a toilet, can you? But that's exactly what they've done. Restaurant in a toilet. And apparently it's very clean and the food is very good. Okay? Right. Brilliant. Okay, folks. Uh, Do you feel better now? I hope you do. I hope that's cleared the air. I hope that's all fine now. I hope so. Because it would be a pity if you if you stop listening to the podcast. Because I've got a really good episode lined up for you here. This is a really good one. I think you're gonna you're gonna like this one. So without any further ado, let's get started with the proper jingle. And here we go. You're listening to Luke's English podcast. For more information, visit teacherluke.co.uk. Hello, everybody. This is an episode about social English, the kind of English that you use when you are socialising, particularly the little things that you say when you greet someone or at the beginning of a conversation. And there are many ways to say hi and also lots of ways to say how are you or what are you doing. Uh, Lots of ways to say those things. The tricky thing is being able to judge the subtle differences in the questions with the presence of auxiliary verbs or modal verbs which change the meaning slightly from the past to the present to the future or with slightly different levels of formality. And I'd like to do a test in this episode today. I'm going to test you, okay? So get ready. Are you ready for a test? You should be because I'm going to test you a little bit in this episode. Here's what's going to happen. I've prepared a list of 25 questions. 25 questions which I think are deceptively difficult. I mean, when you first look at the questions, you think that they're pretty easy, pretty simple ones, but actually they can be more tricky than you might imagine. And in my experience of being an English teacher, all of the learners of English I've met over the years, I've often tested out these little questions at the beginning of lessons or or at moments where it's time to have some conversation. And, you know, often people don't really understand them. They don't quite understand the right, uh, most appropriate uh, responses. So I've got this list of 25 questions that I've uh, chosen that I think are a little bit difficult, even though they're actually on, on paper, quite simple. I'm going to read them to you in a moment. And what I'd like you to do is, as I say each question, um, think really quickly and really naturally about the first thing you would normally say when you hear that question. So what's the first answer that comes into your mind? Okay, let's see if you answer correctly. And to to find out all of the proper answers and responses, we're going to listen to me directing those questions at Amber, Paul and Sarah. Then you can listen out for how they answer the questions and the comments that we make afterwards, which should explain those tricky little bits of English. Um, So not only can you learn some essential social English in this episode, you can also hear plenty of humorous conversation between the four of us. Uh, Five of us, really, because in fact, uh, Sarah's baby is also there in the background, uh, making a few little noises. I'm sorry if that bothers anyone. I have removed uh, some of those noises, but a few of them are still in there. But I think really it sounds fine. And it just adds a bit of atmosphere in the background. And after all, she is a very cute baby. So the test then, let's get started. Are you ready? What I'd like you to do is remember, just give the first answer that comes to your mind. Even if you think that the, the question is simple, 
what's the first answer that comes? Also, you should know that some of the questions in this list are intentionally incorrect. I put some incorrect questions in there just uh, as a just to make it a little bit more complicated. So if you hear a question which is grammatically wrong or is just never used, then you can say wrong, okay? All right, now if you're on a bus or something like that and you've got other people around you, you might want to just, you know, say it under your breath like wrong, you know, wrong, wrong, that's wrong, rather than shouting out wrong in front of the whole bus. Just, you know, bear that in mind. So your quick answer to to the question or wrong, if it's incorrect. I will say the question once or twice quickly and then uh, slowly and then probably quickly again afterwards. Okay, now some of these questions may seem extremely simple. That's the point, in a sense, because really the, the reason for doing this is to understand the pragmatics of social English and how you should give certain stock answers to some questions. Uh, the questions get a little bit harder as they go along. They start pretty simple. Okay, you can also, if you want to, try and repeat the questions after me. That might also be a good uh, exercise. Try and repeat them after me and see if you get them perfect. Okay, so the questions are going to come pretty quick in this list because I've got 25 of them. So use the pause button if you want to kind of, you know, slow it down. Uh, But here we go then. So starting with number one of 25. Here it is. Number one. Um, So what are you doing? So what are you doing? What are you doing? So um, what are you doing? Okay, number two. So, um, how are you doing? How are you doing? So, uh, so how are you doing? How are you doing? Number three. So, um, how's it going? How's it going? How is it going? So, how's it going? All right. Number four. Um, so, um, how are you going? How are you going? So, how are you going? All right. Number five. So, what's happening? So, uh, what's happening? What is happening? So, what's happening? Number six. So, what's going on? What is going on? So, so what's going on? Uh, number seven. So, what's going down? What is going down? So, what's going down? Number eight. So, what's going up? What is going up? So, what's going up? Number nine. So, what's up? What's up? What is up? So, what's up? Number 10. Uh, Hello, how do you do? Hello, how do you do? Hello, how do you do? Number 11. Um, So, uh, how are you? How are you? How are you? Number 12. So, how have you been? How have you been? How have you been? So, how have you been? Number 13. So, uh, how have you been up to? How have you been up to? So, how have you been up to? Number 14. So, what are you up to? So, what are you up to? So, what are you up to? Number 15. So, um, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? So, what have you been up to? Number 16. So, how long has it been? How long's it been? How long has it been? How long's it been now? Number 17. Uh, Sorry, can I use your phone? 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 Number 18. I can't use your phone, can I? 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 Number 19. Uh, Do you mind if I open the window? 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 Number 20. You don't mind if I open the window, do you? You don't mind if I open the window, do you? You don't mind if I open the window, do you? You don't mind if I open the window, do you? Number 21. So what are your plans for later? So what are your plans for later? What are your plans for later? Um, Number 22. So what are you up to later? What are you up to later? So what are you up to later? Number 23. Can you tell me where is the best bar in town? Can you tell me where is the best bar in town? Number 24. Do you know how long is it going to be? Do you know how long is it going to be? And 25. Would you be prepared to give me a 5% discount? Would you 
be prepared to give me a 5% discount. Would you be prepared to give me a 5% discount? Okay, so there are the 25 questions. I wonder how you got on with those. Maybe you found them incredibly easy. Uh, maybe you um, you sort of had to think a little bit about some of them. You probably thought to yourself, they all sounded exactly the same. It's all the same question every time. Not necessarily. Sometimes there are subtle differences, which mean that they're not exactly the same question. So if you would like to find out the correct way to respond to these, uh, you can listen on now because you're going to hear all of those questions uh, being asked to my friends Amber, Paul and Sarah, and we'll see how they respond to them. And you can see if you got them right or wrong. And also you can see if there are any differences, for example, between British English and American English on this subject. Okay, I'm going to go through all of them again quickly at the end when we've heard this conversation, which, you know, is obviously a normal conversation. So it rambles around before coming back to the list of questions, but you'll get answers to all of them. And then I'll go through them again with you at the end. All right, then enjoy the conversation. Speak to you in a little bit. Amber and Paul are on the podcast. Amber and Paul are on the podcast. Amber and Paul are on the podcast. Amber and Paul are on another podcast. Paul's a very funny boy. His laugh I very much enjoy. Amber's got a lovely voice. If I could choose an accent, hers would be my choice. Yeah. And Sarah Donnelly's a lovely person too. So I ask you a question and what happens? We answer it in the most natural way, yeah. unless it's wrong, in which case we say wrong. wrong. I have a question. If it's grammatically wrong, but we do use it okay, all the time, like it's Ooh. technically wrong, but it's used, mm-hmm. do we still say wrong? You can say, I think that might be wrong. That's too long to interject. All right. Just okay. say wrong-ish. Right. Wrong-ish. <laughs> okay. Wrong-ish. Wrong, wrong, no, no, you do it like this. Wrong? Like, question mark? Wrong? Wrong? So if you're sure, it's wrong. If you're not sure, it's wrong. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right then. So, Paul, you're first. Oh, God. I won't know if it's incorrect or not. Don't, don't worry. Know, you will. You're the actual linguist. You're going to find Supposedly. it. Supposedly. You're going to find it easier. <laughs> Supposedly. Than, you're going to find it easier than you expect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But my, I don't know what my listeners will, will be, whether they'll find it easy. Anyway. Go on. So, Paul, number one. Ready? Yeah. So, uh, what are you doing? Uh, I am sitting here uh, doing a podcast with you. And Amber and uh, Sarah is the correct answer. <laughs> Bravo. Wow. Okay. okay. Uh, we can imagine we're doing this on the phone or something. Anyway. Yeah. So, Sarah, ready? Yes. So, um, how are you doing? Doing well. Thank you. Everything's good. great. Very good. Well done. Oh, you, uh, so, you responded to that as my dad would correctly. He, would, he gives me shit, my dad, when I respond to that question. You know, people say, how, how, what was the question? How are you doing? How are you doing? And well, pe- how are you? Yeah, uh, so how are you? And I have, g- uh, because I spent a lot of time with Americans at work. I'm good. I would respond, I'm good. And my dad would be like, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, no. I just scared oh, no. the you scared you scared baby. I'm sorry. You scared the baby. <laughs> she jumped. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad she didn't cry. Usually it's a slow like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like it like, comes from deep, deep right. within. Okay. Uh, 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 my dad does the same thing. If He's it, like, you're good at what? Yeah, I know. But it's, mm. it's, it's, well, it's, I'm, I'm just good. I feel. Well, say I'm doing. I'm doing good then, as opposed to I'm just good. Yeah. He, he every time. You're, I, uh, you're good at what sports? Yeah, the thing that our not good at parents English. always say when they hear someone say, "How are you? I'm good." They always go, "What? You're like morally good. I, uh, I don't need an assessment <laughs> of your moral character." Uh, but it's stupid because, of course, they know that it means that I'm good. I'm in good health. Yeah. Right? There's yeah. nothing wrong with it at all. It's totally fine. But Just, what did you post to me? You said... How are you doing? How are you doing? And you doing? said, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Yeah, it's fine. Because you didn't say how... If you said, how are you? I would have said, I'm good. Uh, okay. But you said, how are you doing? And so I said, I'm, I'm doing, doing well. well. So what's the normal response to how are you? Can we just try oh, it? Jesus. Sorry. Uh, Sarah's now spilled apple compote on the table. This is the life with a baby. <laughs> yeah. You end up with substances this is, all if, over the place. All you have is apple compote on your table by the end of feeding a baby. Then that's a win. Yeah. Really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's some paper, there are paper towels there. I guess my point is, is that it was very natural for me to respond. I wasn't thinking like, what's well, the right yeah, way? You don't have to think. That's the whole point. Yeah. I don't want you to think. Yeah. I just want you to act like uh, respond yeah. in exactly the same way you normally would. Yeah. Paul, so can I just quickly come back to you again? Yeah. So, all right, Paul, how are you? <laughs> just, be so nat- it. just be normal. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah that's right. what I would say. Yeah. No! No, I'm yeah. just joking. Just joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Amber, ready? Here's yeah. number three. Um, so, uh, how's it going? It's all right. Yeah? Yeah. Just all right? Yeah, it's all right. Everything's, everything's all right. Yeah. yeah. 
Good. You're not going to ask me? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, pretty good, thanks. Sorry, I didn't know we could ask questions back. Well, of course yeah. you can. Just I didn't, because, I, because we get down a rabbit hole <laughs> just be normal. of conversation. Just be, no- just be, just be natural. <laughs> Sorry. Paul. It's the most unnatural conversation. <laughs> so at the first, it's like two things, answer it naturally or say wrong. Go, and then wrong. we're all going, <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> <laughs> or you go, wrong? Like that. Yeah. Okay, Paul, back to you. Yeah. Uh, so, how are you going? Wrong! Well... well Unless you're from unless, unless you're Australia, from Australia, in which whoa, 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 case whoa, whoa. that's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Just re- how you Paul, going? Can you repeat the question? Uh, h- how are you going? How are you going? Yeah. How are you uh, going? My joke when I say to Australians, I'm like uh, by bus. What do you mean? How am I going? I just got here. I'm not going anywhere. On foot. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm. Well, good. Fine. Fine. Okay. Did I set? screamed wrong. Yeah. Because in the US, if someone said, "How are you going?" I'd be like, "Going." I, what do you there. mean? Yeah. Like, I would think someone would be trying to ask me how I was doing, but we would not say it like that. That's the way the Australians do but it. Okay. it does but sound I don't Australian. know that, as we just mentioned, because Australia is so far from the US. Because in Australia, they go, G'day, how you going? How you going? Mm. Never. But what's I've never interesting heard that about before. that is that in French and Spanish, they say the same thing. Comment tu vas? How are you yeah, going? Ah. Same. It's true. true. Como vas? <gasps> yeah. Uh, and yet they're very mm. unlike Australians in every other respect. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's, it's very strange, isn't it? <laughs> Comment allez-vous? But we're, yeah. not, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. We're, I just got here. Yeah. But apparently someone told me that in French when they say ça va, like it goes, meaning like how is it going? Meaning like you're pee. Like are you peeing well? Like, oh, It's transit. like with the doctor. Oh, yeah, yeah, transit. Like the doctor's asking you Comment how is va? it moving? How's it, uh, how's it going? Like, like literally how is it flowing and you're in good health if everything is yeah. going well. Yeah. well. In China they say, uh, did you eat? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the. How are you doing? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Did you eat? Wow. Did you eat? What they say it in English? No, they say it in Chinese. But when you translate it into English, <laughs> all right. Did it's, you a, eat? it's. Did you eat? Okay. Yeah. I, I think it's China. I might be. It might be Taiwan. Yeah, you I might. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Taiwan. What is Taiwan? <laughs> no, I, I think it's. I think it's in China. They say that, or it's in Japan. But you would know Japan. They don't say that in Japan, right? Genki. Mm. Yeah. In Japan is Genki. What does that mean? It's like, are you? Are you all right? Okay. Basically. Okay. That well, was num- that was f- question four, wasn't it? All right. Sarah, all right. ready? Question five. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's replying for me. What's, what's ha- happening? What's happening, Sarah? What's going on? What's happening? Good. I'm good. Yeah? I don't think anyone said what's happening to me in my whole life. Really? I no really? Said uh, all, all yeah, the they have. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, that's Not much. Normal. Right, you're, 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 you're all hanging around and I come over. All right, guys, what's happening? What's going on? Not much. Chilling, yeah, checking out, much. you know, the sort of China-Taiwan Again? Issue. Discussing uh, Chinese political relations. As the only American here, uh, we would say more so like, what's up? Like, what's happening is of another era. Yeah, it's like the 70s, isn't it? Hey, man, what's happening, man? Yeah, it's like a jive, like, hey, what's happening? No, that's like a smooth guy, like, hey, what's happening, shawty? (laughs) Shawty. (laughs) What's happening, shawty? (laughs) Shawty. But, um, yeah. That's that's why it was hard for me to respond naturally. Yeah, yeah. So for uh, you, what's, I mean, I don't say what's happening uh, without irony. I have to, it has to be a bit (laughs) ironic. You know, all right, what's happening? What's going on? What's going down? What's going on? Yeah. What's going, what's going on in Groove Town? What's, what's happening? happening? Yeah, kids? exactly. <laughs> the cool kids on the street. Um, I yeah. hear that quite a lot. Oh, I feel like I hear it a lot. What's happening? Yeah, yeah. what's happening? So, Maybe what's the correct answer then, British people? What's the correct answer to what's <laughs> well, happening? Most British people respond just not much. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing. Not much. Not much. No, nothing. 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 Yeah. Yeah, same old. Same old. Same old. <laughs> All right then. Same old. Amber, ready? Yeah. Number six. This is. All right, Amber. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Not much. Just the usual stuff about yourself, Luke. Yeah, just, you know, chillaxing. Chillaxing. Chillax. Trying, to, trying to stay cool in the hot weather. What's going on? Um, that's usually what we say to each other when we meet. Yeah, you know, what's going on? Could, but we say it with this fake... Oh, yeah, we're scaring on. All right, we're scaring on. We're scaring on. on. <laughs> it's like with this London, with this Cockney accent. We do say that quite often every time. <laughs> Whenever. All right, mate, we're scaring on. All right, we're scaring on. What's going on? on? What's going on? You're a bunch of twats. What's yeah. going on? Fake Cockney... What's going on? What's going on? All right. What's, what's the right? Going on? What's the right answer to what's going on? Well, the, all of these questions, the, the right I'm answer is basically they're all asking the same question, Just and yeah. to which it's the answer. What? How new? are you? And what are you doing? Basically. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Th- that, that's only question six. Number seven. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Who's, ne- who's next? Who's next? Sarah. 
No, it's, but it's Paul. Paul. No, just did I what, just did what's going on. No, what's going I did what's going on. Oh, okay. And you enjoyed oh, true, yeah. what's going on. What's going right, on? Paul, ready? Right, yeah. Paul. So, uh, what's going down? <laughs> <laughs> The same thing that was going on. <laughs> the <laughs> same thing's going on as it's going down. Nothing, then. No, we're just chilling out. Okay, so it's the same thing. But no one really says what's going down, do they? I feel like no. that's something that's said. Yo, man, what's going down, again, man? Again, it's like jive talk from another generation. Era. Yeah. Yeah. Or like in movies, right. you know? Right. What's going down? It's like, what's going down? There's a job going down outside the bank. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going down. Right. Or is okay. it going up? Or it's a know. flow rider song. It's going down for real. And that means that the, the no. group... No. No, okay. That means that the party is going down <laughs> on the dance floor? It's going down for real means like... Where's it? It's happening. It's happening. Yeah. No, yeah. Where's it going you're down You're getting to? confused with getting down. No, yeah, getting down is dancing. <laughs> Luke, you clearly need my American influence. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just calm down okay, a little it's bit. My, okay, it's my turn. Down, okay. Calm down, okay. All right. All right, ready? Number eight? Mm, yep. So, uh... What's going up? Oh, no. No, no one wrong. says that. What's going up? Yeah. Is no. it, if it's wrong, you say wrong. Yeah, wrong. Wrong. Okay, good. Good. Say what's up. What's up? That's in question number nine. The sky. Yeah. So. What's up? S- Sarah. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Nothing much. I'm good. Yeah. You? What's up with you? Uh, just the same old thing. Just yeah. doing a podcast, yeah. you know? Yeah. I feel like these questions, too... Uh, at least within the American cultural context that I can speak of, people don't actually want to know. Like if yeah. I say, what's up? And you say, my life is shit right now and my yeah. cat just is sick. No one wants to hear that. They just want to hear, they're like, I'm good, I'm fine. Yeah. Everything's okay. Yeah, that's right. So you out know? of, <laughs> it's the equivalent of the UK, all right? All right. Yeah. 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 All right? Yeah, that's, <laughs> right? Not, that's not in my list, actually. All is right? Not? All right? All right? Yeah, yeah. all right. right? All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Basically, in every culture, you need to have that thing, which the is back basically... Back and forth. Uh, yeah. Uh. Ça va? Yeah. Ça va? Uh. It's like Seb Marx's joke. Yeah. 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 Ça va? Ça va? Ça va? Ça va? Uh, all right? All right. So, um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so basically, the, the 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 useful ones there are what you're doing, uh, how are you doing, uh, how's it going. Um, They're all the same. And yeah. I know, but not really. What's happening? What's going on? What's going down? What's go- uh, what's up? Yeah, if, yeah. People. Um, no. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's, what's up? up? Yeah, yeah. It's normal. Okay. There is a whole ad campaign in the U.S. Budweiser beer. What's that? What's that? What's that? Yeah. What are you doing? Just chilling and watching the By game. By the way, that's, a that commercial is over what 15 is years old. What and it's that? still... Have they not remade it yet? I'm expecting them to fully... Like, they Maybe remake they everything have. now. And they're Ghostbusters, when the, yeah. that was out. You, they're all... It's, you've got to remake it. It's a fun, it was a saying, great that advert. Was, that's a pop what's a good culture. Ad? What's that? What's that? Mm, I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Watching a game, having a bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's still, it's still in movies it's too. Still, I feel like it's yeah. in the Hangover. Yeah. Like it works its way. Okay, it's okay. Good. Next, next one. Mm. You ready for this? Uh, yeah, Amber. So, uh, hello, Amber. How do you do? How do you do? Ah, good. Because that's not. I'm fine, thanks. What? How do you do? Is how do you, it's like nice to meet you, isn't it? Hello, oh, how how do you hello, do? Luke Thompson. How do you do? How hello, do you Paul do? Taylor. How do you do? How that's do you, what hello, the how Queen do do? would say, right? Uh, that's, no, how do you do is how do you, is you respond with how do you do? Yes, really? That's right. Okay. Yes. I didn't know that. Uh, and it, it just means nice to meet you, but it's formal. Oh, but like, how do you do? Hello, how do you do? Shaking hello, hands, hello. shaky because hands. Exactly. Again, like you're the only queen. doing how do you do when you shake hands. How do you do? How do you do? Yeah. Hello, how, how do you do? do? How do you do? Mm. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Very good. Very good. Paul. Oh, God. All right, Paul. How are you? Didn't we already ask this one? No, we haven't had how are you yet. What? It feels like we already oh, had. No, we did, we did. Go on, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Ah, uh, good. He didn't say good this time. But oh. how are you now? How are you now? I'm, not- fa- I'm, I'm grand. What's the crack with you, Paul? I'm grand, so I am. In Northern Ireland. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Or what's the crack? What's the crack? What's the crack? What's, what is the crack then? Crack is like good times but it also can mean what's up so if someone asks what's the crack or so what's going on isn't what's it? going on or what's and up it's spelled, what's uh, the crack c-r-a-i-c isn't it c-r-a-i-c yeah mm. what's mm. the crack what's the crack what's the crack, what's the crack? and crack means good time oh, i'm just you know i just love the crack yeah i love the crack yeah. like i i remember the world cup 1994 which was in the united states <laughs> and there was an irish guy and i think it was in la 
and he was interviewed on American TV, and the interviewer was like, so uh, what brings you over here to, to America? And the guy was like, I just came over here for the crack. <laughs> 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 and of course everyone was like what the drug the, the drug it's 94 baby oh that's right I, I, I hear you've got great crack great over crack. here what's the crack with love you love the crack me <laughs> absolutely love it oh. um, so uh, Sarah I think yes. it's your turn so um, how have you been I've been okay I've been good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. surviving yeah I'm a bit tired and you yeah pretty good thanks you know cool just Bimbling along, you know. <laughs> bimbling? Bimbling along. Bimbling. Yeah, bimbling. Just a new bimbling one? along. I'm learning. I'm yeah, learning not, things. That's not a common phrase, but no. uh, <laughs> anyway. Don't, <laughs> listeners, don't use it. I love a Ever. Point. Bimbling. No, a, a friend of mine always says bimbling <laughs> it's along. It's a good word. It's a good word. Just bimbling along. It's just like carrying on in my usual way. Uh, uh, Amber, ready? Yeah. So, um, how have you been up to? Oh. Wrong. Wrong. Why? What's wrong with that? You, you can say, what have you been up to? Uh-huh. How have you been? Right. You can't say, how have you been up to? Yeah, okay. All right, then. Let's move on to number 14, Paul. So, uh, all right, Paul. Yeah. That's you. What are you up to? Not much, just... Uh, <laughs> still <laughs> making a podcast. <laughs> still making a podcast. As we were for it. But I feel like we've used that one already. Or it just, yeah, they all just sound the same. It's just the same question. Just like, what's going on? It's just like... This is just the What's going on? It's just a million ways of saying the same thing. Yeah. yeah. But all right, it's going to change it a bit. Right? Sorry, the baby sneezed, by the way. That's why I said bless you. Okay. It wasn't for um, the listeners who probably couldn't hear. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Sarah. Uh, all right. So, uh, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Mm. I've been taking care of my baby. <laughs> yeah. Same old thing. Same old thing. Okay, good. Stopped feeding her the compote, if we're asking in real time. Uh-huh. I think she's done with it. She's going to fall asleep now? One can only hope. Mm-hmm. It's the yeah, dream. It is. <laughs> babies are great. This is what parents always tell me. Oh, babies are brilliant, but it's good when they fall asleep. Mm. Well, yeah. You know. yeah. Really? Yeah. Even Sorry, baby. We, we don't want you to be conscious. So, Amber... Uh, so, Amber, how long has it been? Ooh, gosh! How long has it been then? Now it's been it's been a while. I yeah. mean, or not really? <laughs> I saw you not that long ago. No, last just, week, just few days. Friday evening, wasn't it? Friday evening. That's so right. So not that long then. Donkey's not that long. Years. Donkey's when years. would we say? So how long has it been? When it's been a long. When it's been a long time. time. When you see someone you haven't yeah. seen for a long time, yeah. you sit there. You, f- hey, it's really great to see you. And then you yeah. sit down. Let's get a drink. You sit down and you get a drink. So, so how long has it been then? And then you say, oh, it's been about. It's about been a while. Four years, isn't it? And yeah. How Can you long believe has it been? It? That's when you want been? to like really reflect and like it's been a long time. Yeah, how long yeah. has it been? Yeah, I think last time we saw each other, you know, we were out uh, in the park there. We had a brunch. And I remember last time I came to Paris? Yeah, I was. God, yeah, yeah, how long that, has it been yeah. now? Yeah, it's, oh, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I love how your version of this conversation is to go, eh, 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 lots of those noises. It's in a reflective mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lots of noises. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> listeners, if you want to sound like a natural English speaker, just do this. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> and then oh, ask God. all these questions. Eh, how long has it been? Eh, how are you doing? <laughs> eh. Yeah. Okay. Who's next? Uh, so, is it no, it's again? Paul. Paul. Oh. Uh, all right, Paul. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, 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 can I use your phone? Of course you can. Ta. Right. Welcome. Fine. No worries. Sarah. What was that last part? Ta. Ta. You don't know ta? No. Thanks. Really? Ta. Thanks. Oh, never you got heard that. Thank you. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, thanks. And then ta. Yeah. Ta, ta. means thanks. T A. But I didn't say ta. No, because no. it's British, isn't it? Mm. Right. It'd be weird. Yeah. But I do say cheers sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we do say cheers quite a lot, don't we? Yeah. For, yeah. for thank you. We yeah. say cheers for thank you and to say goodbye and to when you have a drink. I think all yeah. French people think I'm alcoholic because like, when I send emails to people, like people who don't really speak English, mm. I, always, I always start with hello and I always finish cheers, comma, Paul. And so I think people just think I'm an alcoholic. French You're drinking people. at the end yeah, of the email. Yeah, people just think I'm drinking yeah. at the end of the email. <laughs> well, another email finished. Another <laughs> glass of wine. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. I like cheers. I've never heard ta. I'm mm. learning. I'm well, learning there you go. something. Ta. It's very common in England. Luke's English England. podcast. Reaching yeah. the Americans. But I've never oh. heard it. I mean, I lived in Northern Ireland, which isn't in yeah. England. It's another. It's, it's yeah. an island. I'm not sure if they say tar. In, <laughs> yeah. Is it in the EU? <laughs> 
that's another conversation. Re- referring to my stand-up <laughs> material there. No, but it's <laughs> not for the not for the first time. Living in Northern uh, Ireland, you say yeah, like I lived in the UK, and I would say I lived in Northern Ireland, and I'm, and I kind of brace myself for someone to be like, that's not really the UK. And oh, it is like, though. It's the UK and Northern Ireland, right? <laughs> They're not really in Europe. They're more just sort of in the sea, aren't they? Because it's an island, right? It's an island. In fact, technically, it's 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 a group of islands. Islands. It's it's not Ireland. No, that, that's a different country. That's that's not in Britain. That that's that's it's not even in the UK, right? Except for Northern Ireland. Um, that's not an island, although it's, it's actually in Ireland. Although technically, it's not part of Ireland. It's actually part of Britain. <laughs> but it's not in Britain. <laughs> but it is in the UK. <laughs> That's the United Kingdom, right? It's called that because we're united by a king. <laughs> Technically, we have a queen. <laughs> you could call it the United Queendom. As it <laughs> yes? Yeah, why not? We call it the UQ. <laughs> which is appropriate because we do queue. <laughs> We love queuing, and we're very good at it. We are. We're the world leaders at standing in line. In we are, except maybe second, second to the Japanese. They're the best. Although they, they, they do need the markings on the ground at the station. So in a, in a freestyle event, we would win every time. I mean, I lived in Northern Ireland, which isn't in no. England. It's another, it's, it's yeah. an island. I'm not sure if they say tar in, yeah. Is it in the maybe. EU? <laughs> another conversation Re- referring to my stand-up material there <laughs> no but it's <laughs> not, for the, not but for the first time living in northern uh, ireland you say yeah, like i lived in the uk and i would say i lived in northern ireland and, I'm, and i kind of brace myself for someone to be like that's not really the uk and oh it is like, though it's the uk and northern ireland right yeah, the united true. kingdom uh, of, of great, great britain, britain, britain and, and northern, northern ireland. ireland so it's not in okay. great britain it's in Nor- it, but it is in the <laughs> uk have you not listened to my stand-up routine it's like, this is like the russian joke yeah <laughs> oh god i have but I'm just saying. Oh, Sarah might not know about the Russian don't joke. Think, I don't know the what's the Russian. Oh, joke. there he goes. When you said, "What has Sarah? What do we need to catch her up with?" Is this is what we need, what to, we need to catch her up with. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Uh, Amber. Oh, Amber. The, oh, the what? Russian joke. Luke has an amazing joke. An amazing joke. It's okay, amazing, it all started. It's not an amazing joke. Okay, we'll, we'll give you the short bridge version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So for anybody like to answer my question. Yeah. So we we were doing our show. Sorry, we're English together. Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> I want to just. I want to see if you tell the story correctly. Go on. Okay. <laughs> There's a, yeah. So we were doing our show, uh, and uh, Luke was starting. So he did the first half an hour, and then I did the second half an hour. We're starting. I'm behind the mixing desk at the Pan Am. You know where I don't know if that still exists. I've, it's been so yeah, long since there. I've been there. Still there. Okay. So I'm behind the, the music, and Luke starts, and some people arrive late. I'm doing like, hey, you know, nice to be, great to be here. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? A couple of people arrive late. A couple of people arrive late. They walk in, and he goes, basically, oh, you must be French then, because you've showed up late. And they go, no, we're Russian. And he goes, ah, you're not Russian to get here, though, were you? Total silence in the room. <laughs> no one laughs. <laughs> I'm dying behind. I, I think it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. But I'm laughing more because it was silence. No right, one understood. Yeah. And he goes, no, you didn't, no one understood. Well, let me explain. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he goes on to explain the joke about, he's like, no, I'm, make, I'm making a joke because they're Russian, but they're not rushing to get here. Like rush, rushing. Because they're rush, rushing. They're late. Right. And still silence. And I'm laughing even harder in the back. <laughs> so at some stage. <laughs> so that was the end of that. It was hilarious. Let me just say, Anyone who's interested in trying stand-up comedy, if you have to explain why your joke is supposed to be funny, it's not. Yeah, I know that's the, what people say. <laughs> but the point is that when I explained it, oh. the, the, act, the act of explaining it was supposed to be, be funny, funny. You see, I wasn't just like, you know, uh, you missed a joke there, but uh, it was more like, I think you'll find a, you missed a very clever joke. Right, like a yeah. self-conscious it was a, explanation. A third degree. Exactly, oh, yeah. 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 But yeah, since yeah. then, so that was... A year ago. I'm more, giving no, you a hard more. time. Wait, 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 a minute, wait a minute. Just a second, right? Don't you think that's... It's not a bad joke. On the spur of the moment, 
you know, we're, you're, you're late. Where are you from? We're Russian. Well, you weren't Russian to get here, were you? It's, That's actually not bad. I it's enjoy puns. Good. I really On the spur of the moment, I didn't sit there writing it down and go, yeah, that's good. And then, you know, it <laughs> like, came I up with it. I hope some Russians come out. in tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Late, though. I've been waiting to, to just blotch yeah. this my Speaking whole life. Speaking to the guy at the door, if any Russians come in, hold, make them wait. <laughs> There's this guy called Vladimir reserved. Just tell him it just starts 15 it. minutes oh, late. Yeah. I was going to say a year ago. That's two years ago. Yeah. Almost that Something happened. Something like that, yeah. So anyway, since okay. then, we've had multiple podcasts. We, we, we told a story on one podcast yeah. and well, uh, with Amber because she didn't know about the joke. We told we told, uh, we told told Amber about the story. Haha, we all laughed. Then he got comments going, we don't understand the Russian joke. Can no. you explain that Russian joke? Oh my joke? God. It's so still living. The it's next podcast, living. we had to explain it again and he still kept on getting comments. Sorry, we still don't get it. So like 10 episodes later after we kept on saying it, he <laughs> finally made a video on YouTube explaining the Russian joke to which he still got things I don't understand the Russian yeah, yeah. joke I got, I got one yes. <laughs> listen, listen 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 yesterday I, I made this video which is like you know the Russian joke Six explained uh, yesterday I got one that said this thanks but I understood I understand it only what you speak about me Russian it is so nice could you add the subtitles in the descriptions to your video please <laughs> so this is like well, uh, you, you didn't. You didn't understand the joke. Look, oh my god, Luke! Top comment. I still don't understand the joke. Could you explain it again? I'm sure he's laughing. This person's then. having a joke. But yeah, there, wasn't there one comment that was said? Oh, oh did you know that Russian and rushing? Yeah. they sound quite alike. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone po- felt it necessary to point out to me that the words. You know, they were like, I think the problem here is that Russian and rushing sound similar. <laughs> <laughs> the problem. <laughs> so anyway, That's the, the crux of the joke. Every time I come on, I make it an effort to, to, to bring it up so that he gets more comments. So what's the Russian now joke? Now someone's going to write comment. a comment going, uh, "I didn't explain the Russian joke. Can you explain it, please?" <laughs> This is anyway. brilliant. Ah. So, <laughs> what was your question? Initially? I don't have my question yet. All right, so oh. let me go back to to those questions then, the the oh. deceptively difficult questions. So I just asked Paul, can but, I use your phone? Right, I'm okay. asking you now, mm-hmm. um, Sarah. Uh, I can't use your phone, can I? Yeah, yeah, you can. No oh, problem. Thanks. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you, you notice the difference it's between like the two questions? Yeah. When people, when you want to, so you the, negate to make it like a softer demand, like, like instead of asking directly, you're like. It's not possible if I can do this, is it? It's very British. I yeah. can't yeah. use your phone, can I? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I wouldn't Which, be able to do that, would I? Mm. Rather yeah. than, yeah. can I do this? By any yeah. chance. Yeah. Mm. The American do way. Do you think that by any chance there's any possibility that I might be able to use your phone? Or do you think by any chance there's any possibility that I might not be able to use your phone? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. And the answer to that is, uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, Amber. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. So, uh, Amber, uh, it's a bit hot. Uh, do you mind if I open the window? Sure, go ahead. Uh huh. Okay. What's the wrong answer to that question? Yes. Yes. What was the question? Yes, do you mind, I mind if I open oh. the window? And you have to say, no, go ahead no, or I sure. Don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, do, I don't so mind. you mind or you don't mind? No, yeah. I don't mind. So it's yeah. no. Do you mind if I open the window? No, go ahead. Or sure, go ahead. This is yeah. when the no is like the positive. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it's no, I don't mind. Yeah. Um, Paul, mm. um, you don't mind if I open the window, do you? No, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> Still no. Mm. Still know that. Okay, fine. Yeah, this could be confusing. Yeah. Deceptively could be. confusing. Oh, so, uh, what question are we on here? This is now number 21. Okay, so okay. now they're starting to be maybe deceptively... They're, what what well, was the title you, of this? Deceptively what? Decepti- <laughs> 25 deceptively difficult questions. But you see, deceptively difficult for you is, dece- is not the same as deceptively That's true, difficult. But I feel like the first ones... Yeah, of course, they're easy for you. But our, our deceptively easy questions. Our listeners don't necessarily... They can't even hear what, you, what you're doing. I can't even hear what you're up to or yeah. what, you've, what you've been up to. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you want to stop a French person, just say, so what you've been up to? <laughs> they uh, bug. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then you, you know, then you escape. All right, um, let's keep going. All right, then. Ready? Oh, We've got a few more questions. So this, this one's not too difficult. Uh, is it you, Sarah, or is it, it is. Amber? Sarah? Okay. So, uh, Sarah, uh, what, you, what are your plans for later? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yeah. what I'm doing later. Kay. What about you? Do you wanna do I'm, something? I'm gonna do some editing with this. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering, not yeah. replying. Okay. What about the baby? <laughs> She's loving this microphone, aren't you? Oh, she wants to eat the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Mummy's speaking into this. I want to speak into it's it." It's not an ice cream. 
<laughs> she doesn't even know what ice cream is yet. Really? Oh, oh. my God. But she does scream, doesn't she? Oh! oh. Ice, ice cream, you scream, we, <laughs> we all, all scream, scream for ice cream. cream. Uh, okay, um, so um, so that was what are your plans for later? What mm-hmm. are your plans for later? Uh, Amber, uh, yep. what are you up to later? Um, <laughs> not much. I'm going to visit uh, Hugo's new school. Oh, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, Paul. Mm. Um, can you tell me where is the best bar in town? Maybe. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's the right bar or not. It's wrong. Can you tell can me where, where is, is the best bar in town? Oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't catch on that. Where the best bar in town is? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Or just, <laughs> but I think best. But could you tell me where the best bar in town is? Yeah. Yeah, because it's yeah. a it's an indirect question. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's how French people would f- rephrase that word. I think I'm so used to hearing French people speak like I, there's a the, uh, because you say où est le, le meilleur bar dans la ville? Like you start with the where is, so they don't know that you put the where is at the end. Yeah, mm. because it's where is the best bar in town. But could you tell me where, where the, the best, best bar, bar in town, town is? is. Yeah. Whereas in French, ah. it's, you, it, they both. You, uh, what's, what's, où, où est le meilleur bar dans la ville? Uh-huh. Est-ce que tu peux me dire où est le meilleur bar dans la ville? Right, okay. It doesn't change, which makes sense to me. But, yeah. you know. But anyway, that's a that's a tricky one. An indirect. Yeah, question. fair enough. Can you tell me? Do you know? And so on. And then there's an inversion afterwards. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah. So uh, Sarah, mm-hmm. do you know how long is it going to be? Wrong. Wrong. There's something wrong there. Hold on. Yeah. Do you know how long it's going to be before she rips out my earring? Yeah. Um, do you know how long it's going to be? Not do you lo- do you know how long is is it going to be? Yeah. Oh, right? Yeah. Do you know how long it's going to be? It is. It Do you is, know how yeah. long is it going to be? Ah. Is it? That's wrong. Yeah. So it's the inversion again. That is mm. deceptive. Do you know okay. how long it it's is going, going to be? To be. Mm. It is going to Not be. Not do you know how long, long. Is, is it going, going to, be? to be? Okay. All right. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Is it blood? It, it is. It is, yeah. Uh, and this is the last one. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Amber? Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you be prepared to give me a, a 5% discount? Um, um, since it's you, I'd give you a five percent discount. <laughs> okay, all right. Fine. <laughs> uh, why? Why have I included that in the list? Do you think? Any idea? Would you be prepared? prepared. Would, you be Would you be prepared to do X, Y, Z? Well, because it's instead of negative, it's positive. Yes. But it's it's yeah. the idea is instead of could uh-huh. you. Or are you able to? Or do you want to? Are you? It's would you be prepared to? Mm. And this is the this is the language of uh, business, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because in yeah. business, you don't say, um, "Could you give me a five percent discount?" You'd say, uh, "Would you be willing to give me a five percent yeah. discount?" Yeah. Or would you mm. would you be prepared to give me a five percent discount? It's like the softer. Well, because they can. I don't know just, why it's they just might not want more to. business-like. It's like, would yeah. you be prepared to do it? Not could you do it? Yeah. Clearly, Clearly you can do it, but would you be prepared to? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. It. And that ends my whole thing about deceptively oh, really? difficult questions. Okay. Ah. Yeah, that, that was it. I mean, uh, we could add some to the list if you have thought of any more while doing this. But uh, otherwise, that's all, that's all we've got time for on that one. What do you think? Yeah. I think that's... Um, that was a huge disappointment. A little, bit, a little bit. To everyone. A little bit, really. I, well, no. I've learned but a lot, quite frankly. Michael. <laughs> good, we... good. I'm sure my list, you're the voice of my listeners there. Yeah. No, I think, I think I learned a lot actually. I think that was yeah. good. Well, I, maybe the two episodes combined, or the two things, like you having, the two together? I, yeah, having hear, like hearing when when you hear the the listeners' answers. I think. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to do the, the the questions first and get them to think about how they would the respond, answer, yeah. and then they will listen to this, and then they'll go, ah, yeah. mm. now I get yes. it. Yeah, that's right. And then learning will will happen, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and the world would be a much better place than Hopefully. it already is. I would yeah. like that. That would be good, wouldn't yeah. it? All right. So do you want to say, say goodbye what? to the people of the world? Oh, all right. In, very, in a very nice way. Uh, Paul, I'll let, I'll let you do them one by one. Give your own special magic to the goodbye. I just want you to say goodbye to the people of the world. Oh, Paul? well, uh, yeah. Goodbye to the people of the world. Lepsters, thank you very much for listening, as always. And uh, leave lots of comments and stop being ninjas. Yeah. Sarah? Uh, thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure. It was interesting uh, having the baby. So I wonder maybe, you know, there'll be some sporadic baby noises or not. Probably will be. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to remove them. Yeah. But it's fine. It's all atmospheric. But but thanks for having me. Uh, I did learn something. Again, it just goes to show that there's a lot of differences in English across the world. Mm -hmm. So that's, I enjoyed it. Thank you. And goodbye, everyone.
Nice one. Thank you. Yes. Amber? Um, goodbye, Lepsters and Luke. And uh, I hope this, um, this episode has been educational. I think it's quite useful. I think it, it can be very tricky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those sort of small everyday mm-hmm. questions and, yeah. you know, just regular speech. I know that learning French, that was tough for me. So something like this, really yeah, useful. I think so. So, yeah, yeah. Good, good luck with all the learning. Yeah, good luck, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. I'll probably speak to them again in a minute. So I'll do a little bleepy noise and I'll ah, talk to them again okay. at length. All right. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Bye. 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 So right then, there you go. You heard all of that stuff uh, in conversation. Let me now just go through those questions again, just to clarify them. Um, and you can see all of these questions written on the page for this episode on my website, teacherluke.co.uk. All right then, so we'll try and make this pretty swift. Uh, and see if I can just add a few other things at the end as well that um, uh, that maybe were not in my list that may have come up. Okay, so here we go. So number one was, what are you doing? So what are you doing? And that's just, you know, a very simple way of uh, starting a conversation with your friend, isn't it? You might call them on the telephone. All right, it's Luke. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just means like, you know, what's happening? What's going on? What's the situation? So what are you doing? Oh, I'm just sitting here watching TV. Do you want to come over? Okay, so what are you doing? Uh, number two how are you doing? Which is basically, how are you? Okay, very common. How are you doing? It's like, how are you? So the response is probably, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Or how are you doing? All right. Some people would say, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm doing fine. Or simply, I'm fine. Uh, Not bad, pretty good. Could be worse. Uh, Okay. So how are you doing? Pretty good, thanks. How are you? All right. Number three was, how's it going? How is it going? Again, the same thing. Uh, Quite common in in British English. Uh, How's it going? Uh, All right, how's it going? Which is like a really common way to say hello in English in the UK. All right, how's it going? All right, which means, hello, how are you? All right, how's it going? Uh, Number four was, how are you going? How are you going? Which is not that common in in the US, but we say it a bit in the UK, and it's much more common down under in Australia, where people will be like, good day, how are you going? How are you going? So how are you going is fairly typically Australian. How are you going? Uh, Number five, so what's happening? What's happening? Now, Sarah thinks that this is a bit old-fashioned and it makes it sound like you're from the 70s. Hey, man, what's happening, man? You know, that kind of thing. But in the UK, we do actually say what's happening quite a lot. All right, mate, yeah, what's happening? What's going on? And number six is what's going on, which is the same thing. So what's going on? What's going down, number seven, is a bit more like kind of 70s sort of jive talk. Hey, man, what's going down, man? You know, that kind of thing. Hey, what's happening, man? What's going down? What's going down on the street, man? That kind of thing. Um, Number eight is, so what's going up? And that's wrong. No one says what's going up ever. I mean, unless it's a balloon. What's that going up in the sky? But it's never used as a greeting. Okay, so we can forget that one. Number nine, though, is, uh, so what's up? And what's up is very common. American English, British English, we all say it. It's just a way of saying what's happening, what's going on. All right, what's up? And there's that commercial, I think, from Budweiser, which I don't know if you got in your country, but it was very successful in America in the, and in Britain. And it's like some guy calling at his friend's house, uh, calling on the intercom. And it's like, beep, he you know, presses on the intercom or he calls him on the telephone. There's a guy on the telephone, another guy on the intercom, and another guy in his flat. And one guy calls him and he's like, hey man, what's up? Like that. And then they're all going, what's up? To each other. So, you know, there was this craze for years of people going, what's up? Which is quite good fun, actually, I have to say. So anyway, that's what's what's up. Okay, what's up? Um, The other one, number 10 is, hello, how do you do? Hello, how do you do? And the response to that is, how do you do? So it's not, I'm fine. It's how do you do? Hello, how do you do? Hello, how do you do? Luke Thompson, shaking hands. Okay. Number 11, how are you? Easy. We all know how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks you. Or yeah, pretty good. Thanks. Not so bad. You know, uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. Uh, For example, number 12. So how have you been? Now, how have you been is the same as how are you, but we're talking about a different period of time. This is present perfect. Our old friend, present perfect tense. How have you been doesn't just mean how are you now, but it means how are you now, but also how are, how were you in the sort of preceding time just before now and now as well. So it's now and the past all together, that sort of period. Um, how have you been from the past up to now, including now? 
how have you been? And, you know, pretty good, fine, thanks, not so bad. You know, just how are you, basically? I've been fine, thanks. Number 13, how have you been up to is wrong. So how have you been up to doesn't mean anything completely wrong. Forget about it. Number 14, what are you up to? So what are you up to? What are you up to? Now, up to, as we have explored on this podcast uh, before, probably years ago, up to basically means doing. You could probably replace up to in these questions, not every time in these questions, you could probably replace it with doing and it would work. So what are you up to? It means what are you doing? Fine. What are you up to? I'm um, just, you know, hanging around uh, doing a podcast. Number 15, what have you been up to? So again, up to means doing. So this means what have you been doing, which is again, present perfect, but continuous. What have you been doing recently? What have you been doing in the moments just up to this moment now? Okay. Um, and I would imagine that's a question about someone's recent routines, some of the recent routines or some of the recent things they've been doing, probably because it's present perfect continuous it suggests probably a, like a repeated action or a continuous action so we're talking about routines or actions that took place over a period of time in the recent past what have you been doing since the last time i saw you for example what have you been up to oh nothing really just the same old thing just this and that just been working okay um so number 16 how long has it been means how long has it been since we saw each other last how long has it been but also it it, it's it's you know it could be anything if you are waiting for something and you could say how long has it been now means how long have we been waiting so how long has it been again present perfect tense referring to that period stretching from the present it, it back into the past an unspecific period of time but it includes that whole that whole period there can i use your phone very simple isn't it? Really simple. Yes, you can. Here you are. Number 18, though, it's a little bit more complicated. I can't use your phone, can I? I can't use your phone, can I? And uh, you might wonder how to answer that question because it's I can't. You might think, well, it's no or something. But um, it's you, you respond to these tag question statements uh, in the same way that you would respond to the question, can I use your phone? So can I use your phone? Yes, you can. I can't use your phone, can I? Yes, you can. Here you are. Uh, do you mind if I open the window? Do you mind if I open the window? Uh, obviously, here the answer is no. No, I don't, because it's do you mind, and it's no, I don't mind. So do you mind if I open the window? No, I don't. Go ahead. Or sure, go ahead. Number 20, you don't mind if I open the window, do you? Again, a more polite version of the question. I mean, do you mind if I open the window is already polite, but this is even more polite. You don't mind uh, if by any chance I opened the window, would you, you, would you, you know, complicated after a while, but you don't mind if I open the window, do you? And the answer again is no, I don't mind. Go ahead. Number 21, what are your plans for later? What are your plans for later? Now, those of you who've studied the grammar will know at this point that you shouldn't be using will, I imagine. You probably wouldn't be using will unless you don't know what you're doing later. So, uh, without using will, which is the trap that everyone falls into when talking about sort of future plans or social plans, uh, we don't really use will that much unless we don't know what we're doing. If you know what you're doing, it's probably going to be present continuous or going to. What are your plans for later? Oh, I'm meeting up with Amber and Paul. We're going to have a drink. Um, I'm going into town. I'm meeting up with Amber and Paul. Okay, present continuous or going to. Um, as well. I'm going to meet up with Amber and Paul, or I'm meeting up with Amber and Paul, all right? That's what uh, What are your plans for later. Um, not will, although if you're not sure, you might say, well, I think I will, okay? If you're not sure, then you say think, and maybe you'd add probably. I think I'll probably go into town and meet up with Amber and Paul. I'm not sure. I think I will. I might as well. I might go into town and meet up with Amber and Paul, or I'm, I'm meeting up with Amber and Paul means it's definitely fixed. What are, you, what are your plans for later? And what are you up to later? What are you up to? Up to again means doing. So what are you doing later? What are you up to later? I'm meeting Amber and Paul. Number 23. Uh, can you tell me where is the best bar in town is wrong? Uh, there should be an inversion because it's an indirect question starting with can you tell me so it's can you tell me where the best bar in town is please don't forget to add please can you tell me where the best bar in town is please and do you know how long is it going to be is wrong as well that's number 24 which of course should be uh, changed as well inverted because of do you know so it's do you know how long it's going to be okay 
Uh, so you've got uh, how long has it been and do you know how long it's going to be? 25, this is the final one, was would you be prepared to give me a 5% discount? So the bit that I'm looking at there is would you be prepared to? Um, and uh, would you be prepared to? It's just a, it's like a business-like way of saying could you, can you, do you want to, would you like to? Okay, would you be prepared to do this? And also, would you be willing? Would you be willing to give me a 5% discount? Would you be prepared to do that? I would be prepared uh, to do that if you did this. Slightly kind of um, conditional language, you see. It's slightly hypothetical language. Would you be prepared? It means can, it's, it means can you, but it's not as direct as can you. Um, and it just leaves more options open. This is the sort of pragmatic stuff that um, I would like to look at in my professional English course when it eventually drops. But, um, you know, I've mentioned many times on the podcast that I get distracted by other projects and things like that, but it's still in the uh, pipeline, this long pipeline with all these different episodes and things and projects in it. So the sort of thing that would you be prepared to give me a discount and, you know, would you be willing to give me a discount and the whole conditional nature of that and the hypotheticals and stuff, that's the kind of language, the kind of pragmatic language that I'd like to look at. If you're interested in that, in learning English for professionals, um, you know, how to speak English like a pro with Luke Thompson, then let me know because that's going to give me a, a nice motivational boost to actually get that project done and then get it up online so you can start sort of benefiting from it. Um, last but not least, there's one other word which I think Sarah brought up, which is the word tar. Tar. So tar just means thanks. T A just means thanks. So, you know, can you give me those biscuits? Tar. Just means thanks. All right then. So that's the end of this episode. I certainly hope that you've learned a lot um, from this. And um, I wonder how many of those questions you got right. Now, really, how many of them did you get right? Maybe you got them all right. If that's the case, then great. I'm very happy to hear that. Proud of you. Uh, if you didn't get them right, then, you know, you might need to investigate and practice a little bit. You could go through that bit at the, in the first half of this episode where I mentioned the questions. You could look at the questions on the website and you can practice a little bit. Um, and that might help, right? Yeah, I'm sure it would. Uh, don't forget to go to the page uh, for every episode on my website where you can see all the other stuff. Uh, join the mailing list and you'll get uh, the link in your inbox. Now, I was thinking about the question, what's happening? what's happening? And that made me think of uh, this sketch by a very funny British comedian called uh, Mickey Flanagan. Uh, Mickey Flanagan is brilliant. He's from Essex. So he's got like this kind of Cockney Essex accent. See, this is like, this is how Mickey Flanagan speaks. So he's got a kind of um, Cockney accent, basically. And in this little clip that I'm going to play you where he talks about the expression, what's happening? He's talking about going to a chicken shop. Because in London, there are loads of these chicken shops where you can buy fried chicken. They're often really cheap. And you tend to find out that loads of young people, kind of cool young teenagers, hang out at the chicken shop. Okay, that's like the place to hang out. And you have your fried chicken and all that stuff. And he's making fun of them and saying, first of all, that they, they're dressed in a certain way. They've got like baggy trousers and their jeans are hanging down. And they've got their hair sort of combed over their head uh, just to annoy everyone, apparently, just to irritate people. Uh, they, they dress like this. And they're all twisted up, like the way that they stand and the way they speak. They're all kind of like, they hold their body in like this twisted way. And, and they speak like this. Okay, and apparently they're obsessed with what's happening because they're always going, what's happening? So I just wanted to play this little bit of Mickey Flanagan for you because I think it's really, really funny and I think you're going to enjoy it. So this is uh, Mickey Flanagan talking about the chicken children that you find at the chicken shops in London. I like young people. I feel sorry for young people. Don't, I've got a lot of hope. What well, they seem to have is chicken. The British teenager seems to just love chicken. Now, wherever there's fried chicken, you'll see the British teenager just hanging about by the chicken. <laughs> the poor lost chicken children. <laughs> and they twisted up the chicken children. Twisted up! <laughs> they seem to have a leg they never wanted in the first place, the chicken children. And they're dragging their leg along. <laughs> They've got a new haircut they've all come up with. It's this haircut that comes from the back. It's a frown. It's like they've all said to each other, listen, man, the trousers falling down is not annoying enough. We... We've got a haircut that irritates. 
takes them as well. <laughs> We're going to chop it off. So they had this crazy haircut. The Bobby Charlton. <laughs> and sometimes you fancy chicken, don't you? You think I'm going in for the chicken. I'm having chicken. And the chicken children gather up. <laughs> they don't want you having the chicken. And they gather up. And they put their cap on and their hood up. And they come at you from the side, the chicken children. <laughs> They're protecting the chicken. And as they're coming towards you, they keep saying, what's happening? What's happening? They're obsessed with what's happening. The reason they're so obsessed with what's happening, they can't see where they're going. So that's Mickey Flanagan there it's talking about the chicken children who are obsessed with what's happening. All right then, folks. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you in my dreams. I'll, I won't see you. I'll speak to you and you'll hear me uh, in the podcast, on the podcast, throughout another episode of the podcast at some point in the future. Thanks so much for listening. Speak to you soon. All right. Okay. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks for listening to Luke's English Podcast. For more information, visit teacherluke.co.uk.